Thank you very, very much, William. All right, Lance Gooden is here, a Republican of Texas, serves on the House Financial Services Committee, uh, more to the point as a Texas congressman, is right in the neck of the woods that we're talking about. Um, congressman, thanks for taking the time. Thanks for having me. Um, a lot of details we don't know, uh, concerns now that this group might have in fact been a target and that these three SUVs in which they were traveling, they were far apart. They weren't traveling together or could be easily mistaken, for right. example, as a, another cartel. What do you make of all this? What have you learned? Well, first of all, violence at the border is no surprise, but of this magnitude just seems especially um, sickening. And these are American lives that were lost. What's alarming to me is the lack of the, a national outrage. Normally, this would be the number one story in America. I would think nine American lives brutally murdered in a heinous fashion. Uh, but this country is talking about impeachment and election results last night in Kentucky, Virginia, wherever. Yeah, a lot and, of this happened before. Yeah. But, but let me get your sense, though, um, that it might have been, uh, you know, not an accidental type of thing. And uh, that the proof of that was that you know, one of the, the mothers and three women were killed and six children actually came out of the car, frantically waving her arms, stop, stop, stop. She was gunned down. Um, so it looks like they knew full well who they were targeting. Yeah, and you know, they, I believe, lived in that area right, in northern Mexico. Far. For viewers who haven't really followed this, there is a, a history of migration of Mormon communities in the northern part of Mexico, which I didn't know before this week. And I... And this I, was an offshoot of it. Right. earlier on advocates of polygamy and all of it, even though they didn't practice it in this particular compound, for lack of a better term. But it just raises a lot of questions here. Yep. So, so for Americans in that neck of the woods, whether they're part of this group or other groups, they're caught up in this now. That's right. And, you know, this isn't a place uh, people go on vacation, but these are American lives, and it's, uh, it's alarming. I could, I could go the political route and say this is yet another case for a border wall and for various security measures. Uh, but, but I the think this there really, would not, this, they were there right. on the other side. This, what this boils down to is, um, is Mexico has been unable to secure their nation. They've been losing battles to the cartels. President Trump offered yesterday to help them in any way uh, that they wanted. I believe he meant that, and the Mexican president turned him down. It seems like business as usual. It is there. out of control, yeah. though. I think of it like an early version of Colombia before uh, you know, Uribe came on to sort of crack down on the cartels and the guerrillas and all of that. Very different, I, I, I grant you. But that violence is everywhere. Crime yeah. in, in, in Mexico City itself has gone up more than 300 percent. Violent crime at that is at all-time highs in five of Mexico's top cities. These type of incidents, while rare, uh, for Americans are commonplace. Now, mm -hmm. What is going on? You know, in, before women and children, you would assume would always be off limits, but now this seems to be more ISIS style, uh, for lack of a better term. Anything goes uh, with these cartels, which is why I feel like it seems foolish for the Mexican government to turn down help, whether it's from the U.S., which they seem, for pride purposes, don't want to do. But And it could trigger more of a wave of those trying to get out of there. Right, right. It's, it's alarming, but they have been unable to solve it, and they need help. I don't know if they'll accept it, but uh, to think that this should just be accepted is, is crazy to me. All right, but they've not apprehended anyone connected to this outside of a couple of suspicious. And I can't imagine anyone being surprised if this tragedy goes unsolved. It's, it's Mexico. All right, Congressman, thank you very much for taking the time. In the meantime,